Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I am back with more reactions with an X. This time, super happy to be bringing you another episode of the new 2021 Shaman King. Uh, we are now in episode four, and after having seen the fight between, I think it's June and Yo, we, you know, are going to keep moving through the story. I can already tell by the title of this uh, episode, Happy Place, what it's about. I remember this episode and these chapters in the manga. Super fun. I actually really like this character. He is a bit of a heel at the start, but some of the best characters start that way, right? Vegeta, you've got uh, Bakugo, you've got numerous numerous right you just keep going through where like sasuke was a heel all these people who were at one time maybe a little villainous eventually came over the side a good 100 percent mostly and rock with us with that said i want to give a big shout out to anybody watching i appreciate everybody who watches these videos but i gotta give a super big shout out to the patrons because their one dollar a month donation really means a lot and it gets some access to this early actually this went up to a month early with full video, full audio, none of the cuts I have to do for YouTube. Last but not least, remember to support the original content creator. I know that Shaman King has been out for a long time, but if we want to keep getting good remakes, we'll see. I mean, um, we got more episodes, so I'm not. I'm trying not to judge you yet. How about that? And you know that that's how you get these. 10 year later respawns of these manga is just the love and outpouring of support from their fans makes it commercially viable to release a product and expect it to actually make money and i think that's kind of what they did with this and they probably will make their money back with that said we're gonna go ahead and kick right into it because it's time to watch shopping King. the best of places I fucking love this dude. Um, this not the way. Pesto Plesta! He's so disco too. No! I forgot, they found his house. Yeah, like he was renting this place and, and I think there were like the bodies here. See, now it's starting to look a little more heart shaped every time. I think it does, I forgot, it takes time for it to get that way. Next time it's your throat. His little one eventually becomes a heart, too. That's how I remember. It's not a... Oh, I almost forgot. I knew there was something I had forgotten. There's always something I forget. <laughs> ah! What's wrong with here? Punched him right in the face. Then he falls in love with Anna, yeah, fuck, man, there's so much, and I think, my best place. <laughs> what weird here, he just falls over and done for. They are fiancés. Your father won't allow you, they actually encourage it. You're living in sin! <laughs> oh, I fucking can't. You're living in sin! It's not just those two, though. And, and a bunch more. And they're really funny ghosts here. They're All the ghosts here are just funny. Really, oh, and then they bust in the bowling alley, man. I, <laughs> Oh, here comes, this is the perfect time for possession. I'm trying not to ruin it more than a couple seconds before it happens. That's been my goal. I can never remember this guy's name, but I love his spirit form later. Hey. They're not really thugs. They're they're delinquents. They're there's a difference. Yeah, I forgot about that. I think he only stabs him in the leg, but still, yeah, that's still muscle punch. That's his name. 
it's slowly getting there. I'm actually really happy about how they're doing his hair. They've actually did it right. I was wrong in the other episode. Because I forgot it does take time to get there for some reason. Warning from the stars. <laughs> One's a ghost, the other's is your fiance. I think you're fine. Uh, he's like, I don't remember you. He's like, you know how many bandits I killed? <laughs> Well, they're both shamans, so he, they'd technically still be able to see him. And she's in Ohio, so she could summon him from above, so she really don't care. I mean, they do actually care, but I'm just saying in like that practical of like he's not gone to them. But it would still suck. He, 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 fight, he bit his own fucking tape off. Did you see that? He went... Yeah, that was so fucking funny. Oh god, his tongue. No. <laughs> Those are your choices. Wait, did they make it Tokugaro in this one? I don't remember it being him in the original. Well, maybe for him. Why does it have to rain? It's raining. No, I'm just kidding. Did you really cut the sword in half with an airstrike from a wooden sword? His hair is getting that way. And this is where his homies, I think, help out. Yeah! I remember that. They're like, you post stab muscle punch. Best play so. Like I said, he's actually a pretty okay guy. He just starts out as a re he real heel in this. Now we get his backstory. I like how they skip the entire him crossing and getting yo. It's just bam, God's yo. Yeah, you tell him, Anna. Look at all, he's actually a really cute kind of baby, even with like the, the eyes, as you know, that some babies have where they're like puffed out. Good music choices, too, for this series. <laughs> you lost once you won. <laughs> No, he got lucky. Of course he didn't. He just assumed it with no evidence. Because he's a... Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
<laughs> it tastes good because you share them, bruh. Oh, I forgot. He come. Yeah. I forgot. He gets a... Uh, I won't ruin it in this episode. We'll talk about it in the next one. All right. All right. All right. You know, I like that. That was pretty good, guys. I will say that... Uh, oh, let's get that out of there before we start getting caught up on a copyright strike. I will say that there was a lot going on in this episode again they they really do push through very quickly and i know i said that a lot last time and i was trying to avoid saying it too much this time but it is just the truth uh unfortunately and uh, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it but i do think sometimes it makes it a little difficult to get these very heartfelt moments that shaman king really is infamous for right like these uh, ascending beyond hate kind of moments is something shaman king's really good at and it's tough to get the emotional impact for those scenes if you've only given them a couple, you know, 30 minute episode and not a little bit of time, even one episode to build into these characters, right? And I think this episode probably did it the best out of all of them so far. It's a little more balanced than the episode before it in that you get a little better sense of like, oh, you know, uh... Ryu and his his gang, for lack of a better word, but him and the boys are close friends, but not necessarily really bad people, right? Ryu doesn't steal things. Ryu doesn't, right? He, he does fight people and beat people, but he doesn't steal things, and he doesn't try to do things right against women's wishes, right? When Anna Lake was like, your hair is weird. She didn't even tell him no. She just, like, it would have been up and like going up to a woman and saying hey how, how's your day or i love you and she was like you're f and ugly and walks away and he just s lays down and takes it you know what i mean he doesn't act like a pompous asshole and like oh blah, 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 or you know try to grab her hand and say how dare you he's just like well damn man and it, it sucks and it's sad that he's he feels sad or whatever but you know that is at least a much more correct reaction than some guys have to being rejected so you know we get to see that Ryu is not a hundred percent granted then he also has his boys go and follow her which was weird so maybe not a hundred percent honestly but you know Ryu is not a hundred percent a good guy I'm not saying that I'm just saying he's not a hundred percent a villain kind of somewhat in the sense that they try to make Rain out to be Anyway, I don't want to spend too long once again harping on episode pieces here and there because I do think this was a pretty good episode. And once again, I think that were you to cut some of the old scenes into this, not necessarily fighting or things, but just like little story pieces, right? Where you got the backstory of, uh, God, what's his name from the last one, the martial arts guy, or where you get a little more detailed backstory flashback images on, uh, Ryu and I can never remember his name, but the lizard guy, Togagero? Toga, Togagero, I think. I don't know. Either way, it's been pretty good. I, I do think it's good enough to keep watching, right? Like, I don't know if I like it better than the old one, and I, I think it's missing some things to make it as great as a Shaman King anime should really be. But I do think it's a decent watch so far. Maybe six or seven out of ten. So, you know, nothing that's going to stop me from going on to the next episode. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys aren't enjoying the episodes, you know, let me know. We'll stop watching them. And if you are, let me know. We'll keep watching them. <laughs> but I appreciate you for watching either way. If you're a patron, uh, you get the super big special thanks shout out. You will also see your name in the description below if you're on YouTube, on Patreon, etc. And uh, big shout out to everyone watching on YouTube. I really do enjoy you guys so much. So I hope to catch you next time. And as always, the only big shout out I really should give at the end of any episode. Support the original content creators. I think they made at least a very good looking anime. And the sound and voice acting are really good in my opinion. There's a lot going on that really I enjoy. Even despite some of the things I maybe don't enjoy so much. So with that said, you guys have a great one. And we'll see you next time on Reactions with an X. Shaman King.